Hey, it's Adam from Collection DX, and today I'm taking a look at the broken version of the Pegasus cloth. This was a, I believe, a mail-in exclusive uh, in Japan. And in Japan, you can only get the figure you got a metal plate. Um, I may have those details a little fuzzy. Um, I got this through angles. Uh, Ken was nice enough to send this along. He asked me if I would uh, take a look at this. I was originally going to pass on the broken cloth because, quite honestly, I have the appendix for the um, final version of the Pegasus cloth. I was quite happy with that. And But, you know, he said uh, they had a good price on them and they wanted to bring some attention to them, so give it a try. And I'll be honest with you, I'm glad he sent it because it turns out it's actually a little cooler than I thought it was originally going to be. So, uh, real quick, this is of course just standard St. Cloth Myth box, opens up to the window. You don't need me to share that with you. All right, so uh, what we got here is object mode and the raw figure. So before I start showing you some close-ups, I did want to show you, basically the gimmick with this is it is a completely new sculpt of the uh, Pegasus cloth, meant to be more anime accurate. You know, the uh, final version, the St. Cloth myth in general tend to go for a much more um, real, I guess is the best way I can describe look to the cloths so they you know they tend to be super intricate and very rich looking but sometimes they're not exactly the same as the animated series so um, in the particular case of say uh, his cloth um, throughout most of the series tends to actually look like this so um, yeah I'll point out I'll pull out the uh, original after we put the items on them show you where it's a little different but they give you two stages of um, damage and before I do that let me bring him close to the camera so actually, let me bring the camera closer in as well and uh, a couple things that are different about him is that it's a new body it's uh, type 3, but he's not as articulated at the waist, which is fine because, honestly, sometimes the waist articulation gets loose as time goes on, um, and you end up needing to really fidget to get them to stand up straight again. So looks like they've kind of solved that with this new one. Uh, there's actually some detail in the wrappings around the arms. You can see, like I said, he's scratched a couple spots, the item's torn. So basically, as the series rolls on, the cloths take more and more damage, and they are repairable as, as the series moves along, but you need the blood of other saints. And this is sort of one of the drama points in the series, is every time the cloths sort of get repaired, they upgrade and evolve a little bit. Thus, if you've been following some of these reviews, but don't watch the series you've seen of recent late, some of the God Claw that's coming along, and that's sort of the result of all this repairing, being broken, repaired. So, this is a, definitely I'm, I'm in the vein of collector only, but if you are a fan of the series, yeah, you really, really want to think about grabbing these. I was really kind of impressed with how it kind of brought everything together. So, as you can see, real nice detail, really well sculpted. And that's object mode. Also in the box, hang on as I get up here. Now these are the trays, actually. You know, in case you've never really gotten a figure, but you've always wondered what that experience is like. Even though you don't read Japanese or Chinese, depending on which instructions you end up with, um, illustrations tend to be very, very clear as to what goes where. But these are a labor of love. These are not toys for five-year-olds. These are definitely aimed at adult collectors. And uh, you're definitely going to want to take your time. You know, putting these together, it, like I said, labor of love, you can sometimes spend up to an hour, hour and a half sometimes, kind of getting these displayed the way you want and uh, getting them on the, you know, they're, they're very articulated. So they can be finicky. So just know that. But the end results are always very, very stunning. So you get you know a little booklet like that. That's always the case. And basically, I just kind of wanted to show you guys. 
They give you two damage level types. On the cloth, I'm currently using what they're calling the damage level one. So like for example, here's the shoulder piece. It's still got its shape. If you look in the package, this is even more busted up. So they give you two stages of damage. I'm going to go for the really busted up for putting on Seiya. So they give you some alternate heads, they give you the bands and the head pieces so that if you want to wear the um, head piece, you know, you can remove the front hair piece, it's got a little peg hole, different facial expression, angry Seiya. Brr. And while I was taking photos and they had them all set up, I figured to give you guys a quick peek at the whole lineup of the St. Cloth Myth guys. And give you a peek in high definition. Hey, you can see me in the reflection. There we go. Adam Saint Seiya Saga. Alright, so you got them put together. I opted to go. Let me uh, just adjust this real quick so I can get in here. I opted to go with the damage level 2, the really broken version of the cloth. So it's missing big chips out of it. So, again, all new sculpt. Did want to show you something here. So this is uh, much more anime accurate. This is very much what Seiya's cloth looks like, say, at the very beginning of the Hades Sanctuary Saga. And just gets progressively worse from there for the poor fella. But uh, while I'm set up up here, I wanted to show you they do have sort of a new hinging joint system. Clips into the neck, comes down, and this is on a ball socket if I wanted to bother to move it around. But they do give you the option, of, that way you can really get his arm in there and posed. And uh, there we go. So I did also want to kind of give you a look at the belt. That's, that's where it's noticeably different. I'll pull the other say out and show you a comparison in a moment. But... So, all new sculpt, definitely worse for wear, so to speak, before repair and upgrade. Give you a sort of a comparison. So this is the final cloth version. That's the chest plate without any damage and the way they kind of went for more of the aesthetic on the figure. This is more like the anime. Subtle, little kneecaps squared off, belt buckle, things like that. Uh, also to be fair and to be anal, this is the repaired upgraded version of this. So. Through its paces for you, I gotta tell you, like I said at the top of the review, I was originally going to kind of pass on picking this one up, but I'm glad Ken insisted I grab it because uh, it, as you saw just a moment ago, it makes for a nice display with the other pieces, so I'm glad to add it. It's also really affordable. Came out in April and it looks like they've got it at about approximately 16% off. Looks like it's running 38 bucks US dollars before shipping. So well worth grabbing. I you know pretty much try to get all of my St. Cloth Myth stuff over at Angles. You should give them a try. Excellent customer service and a great bunch of guys over there and uh, gals. Hi Sharon. So uh, there you go. I highly recommend it for uh, the St. Cloth Myth fan. Casual uh, collector, probably not so much. This is a bit inside baseball, quote unquote, so to speak. So uh, not necessarily one I'm recommending to everybody, but if you're a fan of the show, definitely add it while you can. It's a limited release, so once they're gone, they're gone. So get yours while you can. Till next time, I'm Adam. Make